Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new user account on your Windows 10 operating system. So this will be a very quick tutorial. So let's get started. So first of all, just click on your Windows icon and then click on settings. And once this settings window opens, what you need to do is you need to click on this accounts tile here. So I'm going to just click on the account style. And once this account tile opens, you can see CB at this time is an administrator of uh, this Windows 10 computer. Now, if I want to create a new user account, I will go to this section which says family and other users. And then if you want to create uh, a Microsoft account for your family or for your kids, you can uh, click on this option. But for now, we are looking for creating a new user account for other guests. So we will go under this section which says other users and then click on add someone else to this PC. So once you click on this option, this kind of Microsoft account window will open, which will ask you to create or give your Microsoft email. So if you have the Microsoft email ID, you can give that email ID here. But if you don't have any Microsoft account, then also you can create a guest account. So for that, you can just click on don't have this person's sign in information. And once you click on this uh, button, other window will open. So here also it will ask you to give your email ID. But if you don't have any email ID and you just want to create a local Microsoft account on your Windows 10 operating system, you can do that by clicking on this option. So if you have the Microsoft email ID of the person for which you want to create this user for, then give that user. Or if you don't have any uh, Microsoft account, and if you just need to give the local access to your Windows 10 operating system, then click on this option which says add users without Microsoft account. And here you will be asked the name of the new uh, PC. So I'm going to just uh, name it as, let's say, user two, for example, you can uh, name it anything you want. And then here you can uh, just give any uh, password, which you will give to the new user. In my case, it will be the password for user two, right? So I'm going to just uh, type a very simple password here and then I am going to just uh, retype or confirm that password and here you can choose uh, some questions. So I'm going to just choose uh, any random questions from here and let's just choose anything. You might want to just remember all these uh, answers to these questions, right? So just give these hints by which you can remember this user and then click on next. And once you click on next, you can see user two account, which is a local account is created on your Windows 10 operating system. So now you can close this window and to test whether this user account is working or not, I can just click on start menu once again. And then here you can see a CB, which is the admin username. I can click on this uh, CB and then you can see the new user name here. So you will be able to see the new user name here. And if you want to log in with the new user credentials, you can just sign out of your account. So I'm going to just click on sign out. And once you are signed out, you will be able to see two user accounts here. The first one is your main account and the second one here will be the new user account. So I'm going to just click on the new user account and here I will give the password which I have provided for the new user and then click on enter. And for the first time when you do this, it's going to take few seconds to set up the new user account. And then whenever you log in with the new user account for the first time, it will ask you these questions. So I don't want to send any information to Microsoft. So I will just disable everything here. I will say no, no, no to everything and then click on accept. 
and you can see whenever I just click on the start menu now and now on the user here you will see you are logged in with the new user account okay so this is how you can create a new user or guest user account on your Windows 10 operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video